What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new news video. Today what I got for you guys in this one is we're going to talk about the MW3 open beta as well as the early access, the dates that we have for it, how you're going to be able to use the beta, the rewards in the beta, and much more that we know of so far. Before I do start, I want to let you know that I did post a video yesterday going over the 1.23 update. That is the next big update we're receiving in MW2 and it has everything to do with Modern Warfare 3, the reveal trailer, the Shadow Siege event, and much more. So if you are interested in knowing the details about that, make sure you check it out. The link will be down in the description. And also, if you find this video informative and helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button. The majority of our viewers are not yet subscribed. I'll always keep you up to date on the latest Call of Duty news. But anyways, let's go ahead. Let's jump back into it. So the first thing that you need to know is with this brand new reveal event that we're going to be receiving, this is going to be taking place on August 17th, which is less than three days from right now. They ended up putting a new message of the day advertising this. They said MW3, three days until the reveal. Don't miss the worldwide reveal of MW3. Get your squad ready, save the date, and drop into Warzone for the Shadow Siege limited time event. If you notice on the right side, there's also a QR code. Once you scan that code, it's going to put a calendar date on your phone. And what that does is it puts it from 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time all the way up until 2.55 a.m. This is a little bit of an odd time for them to end the event. That's a little bit over 12 hours. So maybe they're going to be giving you guys over 12 hours to have an opportunity to watch the event. So if you're not available at the 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time that the event goes live, maybe you'll be able to watch it later on throughout the day. There were leakers saying you have all the way until I believe like the 21st or something like that to be able to watch it if you miss it. But just to let you know, make sure you're on the game if you can be. It's going to be at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. But anyways, that's the day for the reveal event now along with this reveal event as soon as it goes live pre-ordering is also going to go live for the game which is going to be directly to the call of duty store to steam to xbox to playstation those online stores will automatically start taking pre-orders it's probably going to be within the mw2 game that you can just go ahead and pre-order if you want maybe even after the event it'll say oh press x if you want to pre-order the game or whatever it may be so you can probably do that on there but that's going to happen as soon as the reveal event goes live if you want to do it right now you can apparently some gamestop locations are taking early pre-orders for MW3, and some of them are giving out some free posters. So if you are interested in that, call your local GameStop, see if they are taking pre-orders. If they are, you'll be able to pre-order the game a little bit earlier than everyone else. But the good news is you still can get the beta codes, as you know, if you order from GameStop, so you don't need to pre-order digitally in order to be able to unlock beta codes and things like that. Although many people are labeling it as a DLC and as an extension and not a full game, the price is going to be $70. So it's going to be $69.99 USD for the standard, and if you want to get the vault edition that's going to be 99.99 usd so 100 dollars and unfortunately there was like a placeholder over on steam where they had it for like 36 usd which was a cheap number people were speculating that maybe that was like a campaign only or that was like a placeholder or maybe that's the actual price of it call of duty devs confirmed to charlie intel themselves that they are pricing this at a full price title so 69.99 is going to be the price so let's talk about the beta codes the early access and everything that you need to know so as soon as the pre-orders go live You'll be able to pre-order around the time where the beta codes are going to start getting sent out. It's going to be around October. So the first weekend that we are going to have, this is going to be an early access weekend, which unfortunately means only PlayStation users are going to be able to have access to this. A couple of the foreign PlayStation accounts at the end of the MW3 trailer, they ended up putting that you were going to be able to have access up to more than five days earlier than everywhere else. So they are continuing that whole system where PlayStation gets the first week, then the next week, everyone else will be able to play and much more so here's how it goes weekend one is going to be playstation exclusive early access is going to be on the 6th to the 7th the open beta is going to be from the 8th to the 10th that is unfortunately going to be for playstation only and then following that the next week after that which is going to be weekend two this is going to be available for xbox pc and playstation that's going to be on the 12th to the 13th early access and then open beta for everyone is going to be on the 14th to the 16th so that's how it's pretty much going to go it's going to be the same exact thing the date is going to be very accurate for the reason that this was actually leaked a while back and they did say the full release was going to be on November 10th and then Call of Duty came out with the MW3 trailer saying that it's going to be releasing on November 10th. So I assume that all the other trailer dates are going to be very accurate. It's going to be the same way as it is every year. You will need to pre-order in order to get a beta code and once you do get a beta code, you can put it into your account and then you'll be able to have early access 
to that beta. I remember at some points, older Call of Duty titles, they would give you like three beta codes that you can share with your friends. I believe with MW2, they only gave you one code. So they're gonna go along with the same MW2 system. And according to Insider Gaming, the codes are gonna be the exact same as they were with MW2. So they were gonna be following that same exact code format, which sort of teases that MW3 is basically an extension or a DLC of MW2. Although they are gonna be charging you full price and $70 for the game. It's just based on like the back end and the system and engine that they are using. It's exactly the same as MW2s. What that means is the rewards are probably gonna be very similar in terms of the system that they did. So the first weekend, there was a free set of rewards that you can get, a total of five of them, and that was based on how much you leveled up. So at level two in MW2, you got an emblem. At level four, you ended up getting a charm. At level six, you ended up getting a player card. At level 10, you got a sticker. And then at level 15, you ended up getting a weapon blueprint. They're gonna follow this same exact system the rewards are going to be different this time around unfortunately i don't have photos because mw3 hasn't even been revealed yet so there's no way i can share photos of the actual rewards but once we got more information on that i got you and then weekend two they ended up having even better rewards so at level 18 you got an operator skin at level 19 you ended up getting a vinyl at level 21 you got a sticker and then 25 a vehicle skin and finally level 30 being the max you ended up getting a weapon blueprint so it's probably going to be somewhat exactly the same here i do hope we see improvements and it's a little bit better than mw2 so that way there's actually something to look forward to it doesn't feel repetitive and obviously it will have a different map rotation it's going to have different playlists leakers who were able to get into the alpha and play that early did say that there was major differences between mw2 and mw3 they gave us things such as like the perk system is going to be different it's going to be following gears you're going to have boots helmets the hud looks a little bit different the mini map is the og mini map that people want it back there were some movement changes slide canceling was a thing reload canceling was a thing there was just all these different features that we wanted to see on mw2 but were actually added to mw3 so that's some good news for that right there one thing to note is that obviously since we know that mw2 items are going to carry on over to mw3 they will not be carrying over into the beta so the beta is going to be dedicated to new content only so we are going to get to test brand new weapons brand new there's going to be brand new camos new maps new things like that and they don't want anything from mw2 to come into the beta so the whole point of the beta is obviously to get you to make the purchase of the full game So they're gonna try their best to advertise the new content and showcase the brand new stuff about MW3 Rather than the repetitive stuff that we've already seen in the past before so all the MW2 camos cosmetics blueprints Everything that you have will not be available in the beta It'll be available when the full game releases Anyways, what is something you guys are looking forward to seeing in that beta to convince you to make the purchase of the full game? Personally, what I would want to see is the fact that there should be brand new content. It should be so much brand new content that it makes you feel like you're playing an actual brand new Call of Duty title rather than playing MW2.5 or MW2 Part 2, right? So I do hope that this beta showcases everything that's brand new with this Call of Duty title, everything that's gonna be coming in with MW3. Obviously, the campaign is the more interesting thing because that's like really the only thing they've teased so far about it. But once we have the gameplay trailer, we might notice even more new features and it might make a lot more people wanna purchase the game rather than right now. So right now, people who aren't interested in the campaign don't really seem interested in MW3 unless you enjoyed MW2 campaign and then you you're looking forward to MW3's campaign to continue the story, then maybe you'd want to purchase the game based on the things that we've seen so far. But anyways, speaking of campaign, there will be campaign early access this time around as well, and it will be available for all platforms. That's going to be launching on November 2nd, so around a week before the full release of the game, which is going to be on November 10th. And then the brand new season is going to start on December. So exact same way that MW2 was. We had the early access a week before, we ended up getting the full release, and then after that, like a month or two later, we ended up receiving season one. So it's gonna be the same exact thing here. And then with season one, how they introduced Warzone and MW2, this time around, they're gonna introduce a new Warzone map for MW3. So I'm telling you, it's a literally a copy and paste. They're following the same exact procedure that they did with MW2. So I really do hope that the only thing that isn't copy and paste is the actual content. So maybe we're gonna receive some really good brand new content. So I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions on that. Are you excited to play the beta? But anyways, it's been your boy Chizzo. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.